So I have the iPhone 14 Pro and today I'll be showing you what to do in case the depth effect feature doesn't work on your iPhone 14 lock screen. So as you can see, the iPhone 14 courtesy of iOS 16 and also iOS 16 in previous iPhone models comes with a depth effect feature on that lock screen wallpaper. So this is my lock screen wallpaper. And so here, as you can see, the wallpaper somehow comes to the foreground of that clock. And that's what you call the depth effect for lock screen wallpapers. So if you want to, you can use this with your own photos. So when you go to the right, create your own custom lock screen wallpaper, find a photo like this one and add it there. As you can see, the wallpaper or the photo itself comes in the foreground of that clock and it looks uh, very beautiful. Now, sometimes you might try to add a lock screen wallpaper like this and it basically just refuses to get this depth effect. So the first thing you can try is tap on these three dots in the bottom and try to enable depth effect. So as you can see, I can disable and enable it from here. So that's the first fix or the first solution for this problem. Now, sometimes if I could just adjust this slightly, you might find that it does not get into the depth effect mode. And when you tap on these three dots, it's actually grayed out, which means you cannot enable the depth effect. Now, there are two main reasons why this is happening and you're not able to use the depth effect feature. The first main reason is the artificial intelligence on this iPhone or in iOS 16 is not able to quickly or easily distinguish between the foreground and the background of the photo you're using. So as you can see, this photo has an obvious background and a foreground. And that's why when I put it here, the AI is able to detect the foreground and the background and then put the clock in the middle of those two grounds on this photo. So as you can see, the clock is in between the foreground of the photo and the background of the photo. And the iPhone 14 or previous iPhones using iOS 16 is able to use artificial intelligence to distinguish between the two. So if you use a photo that has no obvious foreground or background, it's very hard to get this to work, as you can see. You can even try with another photo like this one, where it's very difficult to distinguish between the foreground and the background. I could try with another one like this. Try to put that cut in there and you can see it simply just refuses to work. And that's because the AI is having a hard time distinguishing between the foreground and the background. Now the solution to this is to take better photos, better photos with intent. If you're trying to take a photo that you want to use on a lock screen, then make sure the photo you're taking and the setting you're in will be able to easily distinguish between the foreground and the background. And the best photos for this are usually portrait mode photos because with portrait mode photos, the iPhone already knows what's in the foreground and what's in the background. So like right now, I could go into my gallery and pick literally any portrait mode photo. If I go to albums and then go to portrait, I can literally pick almost any portrait mode photo from this and all this will work. So I could pick that, it works, cancel. I could pick that, it works, and all of them are going to work. Now, having said that, of course, not all portrait mode photos are going to work. The only reason why a good picture with a clear foreground and background will refuse to work is if the depth effect will cover the time or the clock on your iPhone. So again, let's go ahead and create one and put in a photo. We can go into albums, select the best foreground and background images in portrait mode, and maybe select a photo like this. So as you can see, the subject in the foreground, if depth effect was enabled, then my sister's hair will come in the foreground and cover the clock. So the AI is able to detect that beforehand and disable the depth effect for you. So when you're taking a picture, keep in mind the area at which the clock appears and make the necessary accommodation for that. And that's why a photo like this will easily work even though it's not a portrait mode photo. 
this one will work easily because as you can see the photo itself is not covering the clock so i could add this i could enable and disable depth effect from here and even if i enable it only slightly covers the clock what the ai will not let you do is completely cover the clock so it becomes difficult to read the time now also you might want to reposition the photo now let's say for instance this photo was like this that literally covers three quarters of the clock and the ai will not allow you to use depth effect so if you have a good photo you want to use maybe try and reposition the photo to an area where it's not going to completely or cover too much of that clock so as you can see so just keep resizing it by pinching with the two fingers and zooming out or zooming in and covering as much clock as you can get away with for that beautiful depth effect and once you get it simply tap on add and now you can use that as the lock screen so like i said the kind of photo you have the type of photo and how much of the clock it's going to cover all these are reasons why depth effect will refuse to work on your iphone so make sure if you're taking photos for depth effect lock screen wallpapers then you're very intentional with the type of photo you're taking anyway thanks for watching leave your comments and questions and any other solutions you might have to this problem down in the comment section below and i'll talk to you guys in the next one